define a meta with Art and his aggression. And now this is the real test. You know, EG flopped in the first group, and Vinny just flopped down an underpass. Kenny S will open up this series with the first frag. But here comes Art, attempting to get a trade that just can't be found. Although he hasn't died yet. Nico, in from Palace, trying to find a way to skewer this A site setup. And with that ramp man coming inwards, there was a chance. But Yuri, well, he's equalized this back to the 4v4. That's a big name tag to grab. They're going to see this A hit coming now. That is a bright flashbang. Frag grenade could be even better if the timing is just as good. They face, and the frag just bounces off the doorway. K Serato clapping back with two, a third, and an attempt at the 4K, but he just can't quite get it. Art boosted in the bomb site, two HP to the difference, and Art is about to walk out here. Now that is an MP9 in the distance, which means Nico has a massive advantage. He picks up the opening kill of the very first gun round, and damage done to Henny, but he gets Kenny S, the op prevails with 50 HP left over. Hunter still playing patiently, but Henny connects another op shot, this time into Nexa. Now Vinny will be next up to bat here on Cat. He's being held back by Amanek. Nico's gonna make first contact, instant headshot. And now they're gonna focus forward, but it wasn't only Art with an MP9. Caserato has one as well. A clear limitation on this B site. Amanek making contact, gets his kill. Yuri falling in the meantime, and despite Henny's best efforts, despite his two kills in mid, this is G2 on the board. And run away with it. And it is really interesting how one of the strengths of Furious Vito is that like this became a map that they went on a streak on but there's nobody here to find. G2's points of attack were actually strong with the B-Apps flank behind Caserato, but they'll take contact with a rifle or a Nico out duels Caserato somehow. Yep, Henny will trade though. You know, last round we saw Henny starting the round. Now he's getting his contact in the middle of it all. Cat player just jumped down bottom mid and Henny predicts it. Hunter losing his head, leaves Nexa to clutch. That's a leg shot that drops Nexa down to nine. And, well, as he moves forward, Yuri's focused on him. He will get his bomb, but with 10 seconds left, he starts to drop back. Yuri closes Furia, three rounds to one. And suddenly we have a round that could have been easily slept away. Gets interesting, nice flash. Oh, it's a triple, nearly the quad, comes back, and Serato is gonna kill him instead. Awesome timing on the flash. Vinny knew what he had to do and delivers. 10 things I liked about that, but the fact that Vinny, first of all, after you take the flash peek, go for the first kill, takes a little bit too long, but then instead of strafing out of the window, you strafe left. That is Kenny S. He's going to see the op barrel if he gets too close. Caserato's kill over on Palace now turns this 3v3 back to the even keel, but check out your minimap. Aminek's gotten through window, Hunter's all the way through the B site, and he has slipped by Art in the middle of this all, which means Art, he's going to hear this bomb Aminek. coming over. Art hears this 100%. He's gonna stop that bomb carrier while Hunter's trying to fight here towards the CT spawn. Art's gonna <laughs> shank him. Down goes the bomb. Hunter has no clue that Art was able to slip back in and an off oh, shot man. to close. To die is one thing, but to die without dignity is another. Really big from Art. He actually drops the off the CT spawn and then moves into sight as a rifler with the A exec coming. Flash was good. Frag, decent. Art. Starting to feel the heat ever so slightly. Kills Nexa, but he just lost Vinny towards Ticket. Now he's getting overwhelmed. Three kills for G2 onto the kill feed and Caserato, all that is left. We saw inklings of eco success from G2 in previous rounds, but now it's Caserato to get dropped after one and G2 have successfully robbed them. So you want to talk about shooting bodies yeah. and stabbing you in the back? Top connector smoke is thrown from G2, and Art looks like he's not going to respect it, but it might get him killed. Yeah, Almanac is there ready. And so is the rest of G2. Four players at the base of mid. That one ramp man could serve as an issue, but Nico actually dies out first through the smoke. Will G2 rethink this? This is crazy. Vinny, he's going to line up a couple bodies. That's a double kill for him, but Kenny has close op. Now it's back, and they have a route to exit over on B. They don't know if it's clear, but at this point, A is obviously swarmed by CTs, so why not take the chance? And if they go, they are in the clear. Question will be, how much time do they give to Furia to get into position before they're even able to go Such for that bomb rotation. point? Three they're, players up. They waste no time. 
Bomb gets planted open for the halls. Oh, huge headshot. Hunter jumps back into sight. Kenny S misses his flick. He's got two players around him. Henny gets the man behind him. Kenny drops a second. And just like that, it's Furia to double up the score. Six to three, the lead over G2. In just Art making his connector move, but bigger picture too. Now it's all of a sudden Yuri on the palace. Henny going to alleviate a little bit of pressure, but Yuri with good trigger discipline. He's flashed at the moment. This is such a high octane spot. He comes peeking wide. Can't quite manage that second kill. It's Nico and Nexa with crucial frags each. 3v2 for Furia. Art face full of smoke. Nexa on the other side connects his headshot instantly. And now the last two players up for Furia. Well, they're both over on ticket on the site. The bomb needs to make its way over towards default, and there's a player in front of connector. Kenny S up to bat. Yeah, he's, he's moving. Oh, he's grooving, and it feels damn good. As he finds Henny on that catwalk, suddenly that's gonna move Furia's last player closer towards the B site, when in reality, it's an A plant. But Henny walking, just moseying through B just to see what happens. Even if they don't have the read, he can get some info. Starting right here on Mirage. Mm -hmm. and Underpass is occupied. Yeah. Two players down deep, Amanek walks in. Now they don't know about the second. This is a huge chance for Art, but Nico just takes his head off. And with those two kills inside of Underpass, you know damn right they're going to the B site. And there is nothing here for Furia to offer. They had to just get those kills, basically. This is a situation where the save needs to come through. A lurk ends up being the third frag, which is, oof. Too much to come back from. Kenny has straight about duels Henny, who's been playing lights out. If you get the if you get the push through underpass, so I, I think for Furia, they don't actually want to see anybody there. Because if they if they go through and clear B that way, or they catch uh, a default where there's one lurker, you know, Henny could have him incidentally walk into the scope. He just made sound. Yeah. Amanek's gonna activate oh, off he of saw that. the shadow, but the back turned. Late. Huge moves from Amanek. And now that's just gonna express lane the play from G2. K Serato dropping his own smoke with Vinny here to support on AWP. Molly pops underneath the windowsill. Oh, but he moves and then re peeks. And that's gonna cost him. Now a two versus four. K Serato in the playmaker position, also empty handed. Nine T rounds from G2. They'll swap to the second half on a six round win streak. Yeah, four players in, two smokes already thrown. K Serato to try and watch jungle. He has that secondary smoke. It looks like they want this jungle connector post plant. Look at the way that they've gotten G2 to go entirely in on ticket. Four players for G2 on ticket, and Art plants the bomb on the opposite side. They're gonna run in just as it's gone down, not giving the T's much time to get into their post plant. Two kills back and forth. Man advantage, hanging on for Furia. Two over towards the jungle. A smoke on top of the bomb. Amanek, he's in the process of sticking this down to a second left, and he gets it all the way through. How did he get the, the defuse off? Was he, the bomb was planted on the outside of triple. Was he stuck behind a box or not? Because he had nope. one hit left over. Just, you know, G2 props to a T side on their map pick, but, you know, Furious T sides can be their area of expertise. However, Nico, an expert in and of himself, predicts this third peak, and now he has done everything so far. Yuri and Case Serato left over, clamoring back into this, but what an awkward position for that bomb to have dropped into. Amanek, he's gonna play on top of the fence, not to mention the player towards Sandbags. Now there's the duel, and Amanek takes it through. Seven health the difference, five rounds the lead. And yet now G2 have a very real edge, but here comes Furia with another force buy, and so far so good. Art able to work ever closer to the B site, doubling down into this, moving bomb forward. Furia about to rob a round. Yeah, this is what you would do, anti eco All art. Cat splits a B, it's Art on these two entries, and it's instantly G2 hoping they're gifted a kill, but they have to save off of this. They do different things every single time. But Nico, this is his bread and butter. To sit inside connector, to be the guy in jungle, to be the guy to go to window to catch for lurks. This is where Nico can just let his mind work. They're up close beside him. They flash through, but they don't go through to the stairs. Yuri jumps in behind. Oh, that's a trade. Yep. Now there's still players back by ticket. Multiple. Two. And if these other guys try and crawl through, Art's gonna meet them, he lines them up! Two frags back for Art. Now they've got G2 completely corralled. Nexa needs to fight his way out alongside Kenny S, but here comes Art 
from the back, denied. Bomb still at the feet of G2, but this pressure from Utility, it forces them back. They know, they should know that there's two players in CT spawn because the Alpha spotted Nexa was the one to get the kills. So they'll put the bomb down, get to safety. But Nexa's really taking his time here. Yeah, Nexa might not be able to help too much. He has 26 HP. Smoke goes outwards, blocks off Palace. It's underneath and Sandwich, they have to clear. Kenny has crucial kill. Yuri, he's got that first one, but now Kenny's honing in on him. He's tucked, tucked as can be, and he delivers with a 10th round for Furia. Yo, Yuri, do you know how, just how to play that? Is here to frag on top of, uh, kind of be that mastermind. Ooh. Hunter shaving away two frags. The M4A1S delivers. And who's up next? That's the only gun for G2. This would be the second round they had no business winning based on buys. Kenny S resides behind the arch. He's got two other teammates behind him. This is this is excellent for G2. But Kenny S goes down empty-handed. Aminex able to answer with a 5-7 and Hunter looking for more fresh blood. He topples Yuri, who answers back now. Henny, a pistol shot would connect and kill out Hunter. Frag grenade could get what? the job done. Oh, oh it's perfect. Now Henny, he hears that first footstep, two seconds left. This is it, he just needs to survive. Oh, it's gonna be costly if he goes down. Oh, smart not to play that at all. Look for the peak and he saves the off. Obviously, Furia in with the mid control. Yuri tucked in the corner, trying to challenge. Nico doesn't give him even an inch. Perfect position from Nico to take back another player. Hunter, he has been fantastic in these last two rounds. Now towards Catwalk, he does take a bit of chip damage, but Aminek can lend a helping hand. A perfect 3K with the AUG. Headshot after headshot after headshot. Yeah. yeah. Very two-way player. Fast play. Kenny. Fast play. Art, he's already out. He is out and trying to chase down Aminek, but he falls empty-handed. The double sniper setup paying off. 5v3 at the minute 30 mark. It's crazy to see that. It used to be boring to be a B player. Now it's like you're Matt Damon and uh, you're just, you're just I, I don't know, you just get so much action these days. Not every day you see a CT side top frag from the B site. They're wary of the other side of the bomb site, but it's it's over here that they need to get their teeth sunk deep. Molly over on oh my God. the ticket. This is now a post plan. Yeah, no one's on cat to even spot this. Okay. Vinny, what's his move? Is he going to walk into this off? I think Whoa. there's another player in shot. spawn, though. Yep, and that's where it is. Nexa swinging wide, pushing it onto Henny. And he's performed well, but he is so outnumbered, so outgunned. G2 about to have a bit of fun as they run rampant on the retake. No further frags here for Furia. A 15th round secured in the cookie jar. Has to now take a piece of map control and continue on to his site. Right. There we go. They find that flank telling them that somebody from G2's moved off the B site, which means Aminek should be alone. But even alone, Aminek puts up the show. A second kill with the op finally dies. But at what point as G2 are ready to arrive on a map one win? Their choice versus Furia. Welcome to Europe, they say as things have not gone well for the brazilians thus far but there's still a damn chance hunter doubling back through the b apps he's got yuri isolated in a 1v1 but as he takes his time to peek yuri starts to feel flustered henny's trying to find contact anywhere and g2 have fallen silent because they want kenny to catch the kill he does and now yuri is gonna have to do it all he uses the Galil to best Hunter, peeks into Nexa and dies. G2 Esports survive on Mirage. Wow. The types of rounds they won to do this, absolutely huge. Six round lead to close, denying Furia a map one win. Being planted, but now it will go down. 10 players up. And that smoke grenade that Furia were holding on to, look, look what it has on the other side. Oh my god. Oh, it is a full deck of cards for G2. And oh my god, there's three T's up close as well. This is going to be a fist fight for control of the B site in the post plant. Instant executions coming in from Serato and Art, but Hunter, he's making the difference. Yuri's gonna answer. A two versus two, left to unfold, and Henny's angle is fantastic. Hunter knows where he is, but Henny makes the difference, and Furia start the T side hot. Which was impressive and should be scary for Furia, but they did. Oh my god, he was blind. Blind as a bat.
and still fights back with the Deagle. Now the Nova gonna try its damnedest, but two missed shells leaves Hunter asking for help, and he will get it. Vinny out from Hut, then dies to the shotgun. Look at the damage they've done. Oh my god, it's so messy, but the T's are starting to find good spots. Yeah, they're able to get off of the site. Now Kenny's gonna have a good idea as to where he's at. Yuri's still oh able god, to get the kill. Beautiful clear. Yuri taking a bit of damage here through the floorboards. You know what's wild is Hunter almost killed him as he fought Kenny S. There was damage going each direction. They've got these T's in the worst possible positions. K Serato, three health to try and close this down. And with the bomb being on the other side, it's six seconds from the defuse, but Hunter, he has the cover, and G2 have the robbery. Yeah, that's coming so close, but he'll get it right before it turns green. G2 will pick that up. And he's trying to pinch with the lobby players. Oh, the, oh that ramp flash. Nicely done. But the player is behind him. Ah, Nexa in a catch-all position. Awesome. That was smart spot by him. Then a third player comes in in Amanek. The other two members of Furia don't commit. They double back into the lying weights of Hunter. Two kills for him as he pushes forward. Get another test for them on this T-sided round. Uh, part on just the P250. Nico wins his first duel outside, starting out with a lot of aggression, paired with Kenny S. Yeah. And Hunter. He's oh my also God. behind the red box. And then Art, well, he comes out from the smoke on the A site, but the bomb carrier, he's going to walk right into Hunter. Patience pays off. They killed Nico, they watched Kenny leave, and still it is nothing for Furia. You know, doing a really good job of just denying it. Let the kid roll in the dirt on his own and just kind of laugh at him. So far unsuccessful for Furia. Now they're going to get desperate trying to entry on the A site. It's adamant. And they do get through, but so do G2, wrapping around to the other side of Lobby. And they've still got Nico outdoors. Mm, how does he redirect? He could opt to go through Mini, instead taking to the heavens. Yuri, that's a great little bit of wall bang on the corner to catch Kenny S. Man advantage up for G2, but it's looking like Furia, so why not take the risk? He's going to peek wide, and he could catch two by surprise. He will. So cost-effective. Sure enough, Furia find a second round, but the bank accounts are bottomed out, and this one comes with a cost. They cannot shoulder that damage at this point. And at which point, he has to contemplate, have they continued, or do they intend to double back? So... And as long as he relaxes, he's going to find them with their backs turned. Two headshots for Nico, gunning for the third Vinny answers. But this is a two versus five. And Hunter, well, he is dishing it out. Sure, K Serato will answer, but he's found himself in the 1v4. And he's about to peak the double CT setup, which does not work out. G2 Esports right back on the board. That's just beautiful, man. I mean, Nico in his spot. Ooh, frag grenade. Kind of misses the mark. Art. Damn, he's lost in the sauce here. Just dies out. Looks like a fool. Amanek able to catch Vinny as well. Hunter taking to the top of the hut. Case Serato also inside of the smoke. That's how he gets back into this. And Amanek looking for second servings. They're going to go vent? Yeah, they want to. Seems like Squeaky's their route. Kenny S decides not to shoot. All three T's move down. Mm. And Nico hot on their heels. Nexa, he's not going to see anything towards ramp. But yet again, Launders, we've got a moment where G2 don't scramble. And Nico, with the element of surprise, dies as Henny catches him with his head turned. We're into the 3v3. Okay, Serato back behind the silo. Henny's over on the control. Nexa burning out the dark corners, trying to find the contact. Kenny versus Henny, that's huge. And now the last two T's have both been spotted. It's about getting them out of position, but K Serato, the killer. He's got himself three frags on the round. And as that bomb inevitably pops Ooh. off, so will K Serato. Top it up. What's the secret, K Serato? Looking slick. Four frags. To headshot machine in North America. And now Kenny S gonna be the first victim of it. No, the assist from Art. And he's not gonna let off of that W key. Nexa's back on the control panel. He will fall victim to it. It bests the M4 somehow, some way. If you blink, you missed it. Furia just running rampant. Look at this. The round is still live and he's shooting corpses, Launders. He's pissed. Yeah. Look. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, no, he's, assert he's asserting. He's asserting right now. He's peeing on the tree, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let him know. It's my control room. Ooh, Amanek sees some feet. He likes that. 
Ooh, he's trying to hit at them, and that actually baits Vinny right into the peak. It works perfect. Now Hunter's gonna strike from the top of high. Vinny able to trade. Vinny doing everything to get them on this A site. And oh my, they nearly lined up for Nico's spray down, but a rapid headshot connects from Henny. Kenny S up next, caught on the lobby flank, and they're just gonna avoid him. But Nexa then activates, runs into the A site. A second kill as Henny goes for the reload, and Case Serato so low that Vinny needs to nearly do it all. We know that Nexa was front of the site. Oh, timing. Oh my goodness. Tur they both turn back. They both change directions. Oh, Nexa finds the back at a distance. It is all on Vinny. He is the reason they got onto A, and he is the reason they need to stave off the retake. They've got a flashbang each. Vinny could decide to peek and shave off one of the two CTs. He doesn't know they're both coming in from this direction. Kenny has the first contact. Vinny, it's a labored spray, but he transitions over to Nexa, and he gets the job done. It couldn't have been more critical. Vinny. And funny enough, that bomb can double back from ramp. It did not get caught out. Kenny S so low. Yuri clears him, but Kenny does connect the dink, and that could make the difference here in this 15th and final round of the very first half. Nexa has done everything from the B site, and Nico, he gets the job done. Kenny connects his assist. Kenny then dies next to the P90 of all things. And G2 Esports will take a seventh round at the end of the CT side. Man, this is one of those moments where, like, it's too quiet. They actually didn't even move outside. They heard all the nades. They just waited. 1,000 HP post plant. Here's the smoke. Molotov and a flash as well. Furia to try and work with. Hunter could be everything. And the fact that he's not alone is massive, but Case Serato just peeks right down. Kenny S and Nexo with kills each. Nexo with a potential for another. He's at least distracting Henny long enough for Art to come up with nothing at all. This is awesome from G2. They took what was given to them and should walk away. Henny connects the kill to Nexa, but G2 win the second pistol. That's a demo retail. I mean, that is a demo setup for G2. Credit to whoever found, found both of those. I think Furia found that one that they just threw. Paint can, I'm not so sure. But oh. here, it's, it's kind of a deco. I mean, there's some pretty okay guns here. Yuri are combining for two. Oh my god, they're doing it. It's all down to Hunter. Just like that. Just like what was done to them, they turn it on its head and rob G2 of their second round conversion. Oh my god, and Art just slips it in. The electric yeah. slide. But either way, they give their best shot. Yeah, Furia, very, very reasonable buy right now. And Vinny's trying to catch this pop out, but it looks like he'll actually play it safe. Okay, they got the bomb. I was going to say, could actually go for the over rotation with so many T's still in ramp that that does give them a weapon. You know, we saw Furia be, uh, or G2 rather, be oh very god. patient on their rotates down to the B site. Look out, look out, Furia's, oh my god. Omenek, man, he just, <laughs> he popped the head off in Turnpike with the Tech 9, turned that into an M4. And that's the problem with G2, and, and this is what now makes me think, like, Furia were running at the terrorists, but they're sitting on the bomb, and the P250, oh my goodness. It does enough damage to get Kenny his trade. Vinny is going to have to come in with another clutch. He did this in the first half. There's a player inside the control Oh, my smoke. goodness. Are they going to come? Wait, if they didn't see oh, him. he's right there. He might actually come back into the site there. <gasps> Vinny. What? He's, oh, my God. It's all about walking. There's no noise made. No cues here. And the bomb will get planted right underneath his nose. Poor Vinny has no idea Bro, that he had this locked up. He's hearing gunshots. And they're going to plant the back big site. signals back site, man. Oh my. But Omenek. Yep, ready. It's the headshot. Vinny, though, answers back with a kill. And it's Kenny to close. G2 is one man. Nico should have been able to cross. And the push works out for Yuri. That's the bomb on his feet. Kenny S, he drops the one shot he could have clawed it back with. But Yuri, he knows he is in a pressure cooker at the moment. Nico then perfectly smoked off. Oh my. Oh, and Nico. now Yuri gets cleared out by Nico, who's done it all his own alongside Hunter. That's just beautiful from Nico. Drop the smoke down, jump up, spam Yuri down. He turns his attention away to Kenny S. Great recovery. Just so well played. I mean, Yuri had that locked up for a second with his smoke down in front of Kenny S, moving into a new spot, grabbing a little bit of high ground. And Hunter's ready. You couldn't just clear him. Well done from G2. Man, so many CTs up close still. Nico wrapping heaven. They're trying to hunt this bomb down. They're pushing in, and Amanek's position catches Case Serato off guard. 
Nico looking for something on this A site, but eventually G2 have to make their move, and Furio, will they want that bomb? They're gonna fight for it, tooth and nail. But will they expect Nico to have wrapped all the way around from heaven? He's crawling into hut, 10 seconds left, and he gets the first headshot. There's still time to bail them out of trouble, but they need to go, oh and they need goodness. to go now. It's Hunter and Nico running in for the plant. They get it in the nick of time, and the last two CTs both have ops. Nico doing everything. He has unraveled this ball of yarn. Yuri shocked, and Henny ready to rock this 1v2 back to Furia's favor. He's inside of the smoke, he turns his head, and Henny should be dead, but he's gone all the way around. He has seen nothing. As quickly as they conquered, they have disappeared. Henny scopes in, gives himself up, dropped to 16 health. He's gonna try and get on bomb. A ridiculous 2v4 by the Kovacs. Yeah, absolutely unreal. Here it is. Arguably Furia's last chance, and G2, they're not going to respect it at all. Running right into the A-site, Caserato behind the box, delivers with the first kill. Art, side of the smoke, he drops his shot, but that's Caserato to get himself a third. He didn't even see Amanek. Back behind the smoke, he's died out. And look at the HP left over from G2. It was single-minded. There was one lane forward, and that lane shut down. Furia with an 11th are still holding on and they're going towards ramp. Over on ramp, we've got Vinny with the AWP. Is that who you want with this? Uh -oh. He's gonna lay down the smoke, desperate for help, already swapping to the sidearm. It's perfect from G2. Double entry, just like that. Art at bat, caught by Kenny S, who kills him with the M4 and shifts this G2 execute onto the B site. Yuri could come through smoke. He just swapped over to the sniper. The triple op setup does not pay off. G2 run rampant through the ramp. I need to watch the demo because how did they have the info? That's too much of a counter. They have to read that. I mean, that's really cool. Oh, do they even get to keep the one? Oh my God, he is so wrecked. Flash in the face. It's a race to the finish line and G2 standing on it. It's about a stroll is bringing yeah. Zipix back. There's just so much going on, and oh. it's just been very interesting. But man, G2, yeah, G2. Oh, and he oh hits him God. with the wall bang. This is still plenty of nades to go for the full blown execute. Who's gonna step up for Furia? It has to be now. And Henny, so blind, calling for assistance. Yuri dies, he gets overwhelmed, and it's a two versus four as G2 look to close. The first official with both Nico and Hunter side by side. A dream that they've had in the making for years. A fantastic debut. And it's like the impact from Nico is known. And the integration with Nexus calling has been fantastic. Works so quick. Art 16 HP. I'm sorry, folks, but this one's done and dusted. G2 with a hell of a debut over top of North America's best hope at least here on the opening day of Group 3. The thing is, tomorrow now we get the Brazilian Bonanza.